Hello, beautiful friends. This is the Organizer Advisor here to help you enhance your happiness and transform your life. This is an important video in our document organization series because in this video, we are going to create an effective filing system so that we can file those piles. So go grab your hydration beverage. Let's have a sit and a sip so I can share my best tips, tricks, strategies, and suggestions to help you create an effective filing system. let's get organized. I am so excited to share this information with you today because this is going to be very helpful in creating a filing system that is going to work for you. So let's talk first about what we need. Well, we're going to need some file folders. We're going to need some sort of storage device like a filing cabinet, banker's box, or basket, bin, whatever you're going to file your paperwork in. Um, you might want some labels. You don't have to have them, but if you'd like labels, uh, pens, if you're going to label those labels, some post-it notes and a stapler. Those are the things that are going to get us started. Now, let's talk about the filing folders. Now, you could spend a lot of money on filing folders because you can get these beautiful decorative ones that just are so uplifting. You want to get something that's fairly durable and steady because you're going to be using these and you don't want them to bend or tear. But also, you know, if you are really focusing on getting some financial stability, start with the least expensive option first and then you can move up and upgrade as you increase that financial stability. This is not what you want to spend a ton of money on in the beginning if you're still working on your financial well-being. So get what works for you. Now, um, if you want to invest in some you know, more durable file folders, I suggest getting them in a heavy um, kind of cardstock weight so that they are going to be durable. You're gonna be using these hopefully for years. So you don't wanna keep replacing them. So if you wanna make a little bit more of an investment now, I like to get pretty ones that are uplifting, that are colorful, they can go with your decor, they can coordinate with um, your binders or if you have, um, if you want to differentiate your types of documents, you can use different color folders or different design folders so that you'll be able to find your documents that you're looking for easily. Now you can use a plethora, you can use coordinating, or they can just be plain and all the same. It does not matter what works for you is best. So you can also make labels for your file um, folders. You can just write on them if you choose you can custom print your labels again this is for you to design what works for you so here's a couple of suggestions I'm gonna make um, each type of file folder that you have in we're going to talk about that in a second what files do I need to create when you create a file folder for a specific type of document you want to write the company name on the inside you want the address in case you have to mail a payment you want a phone number in case you need to contact somebody and a point of contact if you do have a point of contact so that you can ask questions to the same person. Oftentimes when I make a phone call to a company, I ask, who am I speaking with? And that might be my point of contact. But like if you have an insurance agent or a loan agent, you might want to put their name there so that you can ask specifically for them. If they have an extension number, you'll want to write that there too. It's going to save you a whole lot of time waiting on hold to talk to somebody. I also like to have my account number so that I can just have it accessible. That way I am not looking through you know, a whole plethora of paperwork trying to find that information. 
You can also put your username and password if you feel comfortable. I don't recommend that for any financial data um, because that should be housed in a specific location in your important document binder in your home safe. So if you have like banking data, investment data, portfolio data, retirement data, anything like that, you don't want to put your username and password on your file folder. But if it's something that's a routine payment, um, that might be something if you pay online, you might be able to put that into your file folder so you have it handy. That way when you go to pay the bill, and you're going to file it as soon as you pay it. You have everything there to pay that bill online where you're not getting frustrated trying to figure out what your password or your username is. Okay, so that's the filing folders. Um, how to keep our file folders neat. Now, what, what I really dislike is opening my filing cabinet and seeing a bunch of file folders with the paperwork looking like it's about to explode, and then I can't see the tabs, so then I'm ending up spending more time trying to access a document instead of just going straight to the folder, finding it by the tab, and then being able to locate that document. A couple of suggestions that I want to make. Um, number one, I like to have all of my headings facing the same direction. That way, when I'm looking through fi my file folders and all of these documents, I am seeing the heading. So I know exactly what I'm looking for, and it's usually going to be housed at the heading. I put any of the booklets in the back, but then all of the headings are facing the same direction. The other thing I want to suggest is stapling on the left side. Why? Because then when you go to file it with those headings in the same direction, you're going to create a crisp edge right here, and those papers aren't going to skew and then get all folded and all kind of wonky in there. Whereas if you were to put them like this, they're going to just separate. But if you keep those, the staple on the left side and then you create that really uh, cohesive margin, it's going to keep your filing, uh, your documents aligned in the bottom crease of that file. Then you will be able to find that tab very easily. Okay, so then we have certain documents that may not necessarily work in a file folder. Now let's talk about those now. Um, our important papers, our important documents such as birth certificates, car titles, life insurance, social security cards, immunization records, um, legal documents, all of those are housed in our important document binder in our home safe. That way they are fireproof and we have taken additional measures to make sure that they are protected from the water. That is in the case that we ever have to evacuate our home, we can take those documents. But that is sensitive personal data that we store in there. We do not want that just laying around. We also have a couple of other storage devices for paperwork or documents that we do not store in our filing system. So let's talk about those real quick so you'll know how to differentiate your storage devices. Now, if you haven't heard of the grab and go binder, please go to my document organization playlist. You are going to find um, videos on all of these different storage devices that are gonna help you manage your home paperwork in a lot more efficiently, and you're gonna be able to find what you need when you need it. So. What is the grab and go binder? This is where we're gonna store all of those relevant documents that we're gonna be using in about the next 30 days. And this is gonna be receipts from the store. This is gonna be claim tickets for jewelry repairs, tool repairs, dry cleaning, event tickets, any kind of prescriptions that you need to have filled or referrals from your doctor, orders from your doctor that you need to take to the lab. It's going to house, if you have any upcoming appointments, it can house recipes that you wanna use. These are things that you generally stick to the refrigerator. So you know, those kind of documents that you need to get your hands on right away are located in the grab and go binder. This is what we take with us when we run our errands so that we can save time, frustration, and fuel. So this is the grab and go binder. Please check out that video. You're going to find a lot of my best tips, tricks, suggestions, and strategies to help you manage those really relevant documents for like next 30 day usage. At the end of the month, we take the grab and go binder and we have a page protector in there to be filed. Check out the video. It's all in there. And then we'll have those that we can put into our filing system.
Another specialized filing device that we have is the professional portfolio. Now this is something that I house all of the documents relating to my career, my job, my training, my certifications, and my education. They're all in here. Yes, I have a video in the playlist called Professional Portfolio. It's going to give you some good ideas on how to um, craft your professional portfolio, what you need to have in it, like a current resume, and all of the documents that you need if you're in a competition for a promotion, if you want to ask for a raise, or if you want to apply for a higher paying job. You have everything you need to attend a job fair, interview, or to use an online job referral service. So that is the professional portfolio. So as you're going through your documents, pull out any of the documents that pertain to your profession, and we're going to house them in here so check out that video. We also have an accordion file for all of our instruction booklets and manuals. Anytime you buy anything in a box, you're going to get an a, a little booklet. Those are too heavy to use in a filing file folder because what happens is you put those big heavy documents in there, they're going to overstuff this file folder, and then the weight of it is going to create um, a slippage where it's going to go way down to the bottom of the file box and all the other file folders are going to be laying on top of it. So when you go to find that manual so that you can troubleshoot your device, contact the manufacturer because it's not working, or be able to maximize the usage of your device, you're not going to find that booklet if it's stored in a file folder. An accordion file is a better system check out that video. Okay, so we have the important document binder, the grab and go binder, the professional portfolio, and your um, instruction manual accordion file. What do we file in our filing system? This is going to be your monthlies. Not that kind of monthly. This is going to be your monthly bills, statements, things that you're going to need within, you know, a reasonable amount of time. We store those in a file box or a filing system. If you're going to use a filing cabinet, that's perfectly okay. A lot of times filing cabinets can be kind of austere and cold and office-y looking. Um, I have an example, and you'll see a photo of an old vintage wooden filing cabinet that I've painted to match my decor. That's perfectly okay. Whatever works for you. There's all kinds of videos on how to upgrade uh, just a plain metal filing cabinet so it looks a little bit more decorative. But remember, you can also use a box, you can use a bin, you can use a basket, you can use a banker's box, whatever works for you. I'm going to use just this little decorative box that I got at a discount store like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, uh, Gabe's, any of those. You're going to find these little decorative boxes. Just make sure they are big enough to house your file folders. You don't want them too big because your files will end up slipping around, but something that feels a little cozy to your file folders is going to be great. Now, if you have like bulk data that might be too heavy for your file folders, but it's not going to go into your instruction manual, such as banking information, use these plastic envelopes. I got these at the Dollar Tree for two for a dollar, so for 50 cents each. These are going to house a little bit more bulky items that aren't going to go into the accordion file. Now, make sure that when you buy these that they do fit, but that just makes it easier to grab maybe those heavier documents. It's going to keep your file folders nicely aligned. Talk about the process of filing. Well, if you have a lot of documents and it's very overwhelming and you're not going to be able to do it in a day, then set a daily goal of 10 documents a day. Now, when I like to file, I want to make this an event. I file my all of my papers at the end of the month as part of my end of the month reset. Yes, I have a video on that. Um, but that's I take the documents and the receipts out of my grab and go binder, uh, the manuals, everything that I've used in the past 30 days that I want to file, whatever other filing that I need to do. It, again, it's going to be more my monthlies. It's going so, to be. Then what I like to do is I like to light a candle. I like to have a little beverage. It can be hot tea. It can be an adult beverage. It can be water, whatever works for you. And then I like to put on some soft music 
And then I make find myself a nice cozy spot and I, I take my little filing box right to that area. If you have a filing cabinet, you can set up a cozy chair, maybe put a throw in your lap. Make sure you have adequate lighting. You don't want to strain your eyes so that you can see the documents very clearly. Take your stapler, some highlighter, some markers. You may want to get some post-it notes so that you can put a post-it note on something that is relevant that you may need to ask a question about or remember to look at next time you're in that filing folder. But um, just sit down and go through your documents, staple the ones that need to be stapled together, and then, and I use staples, I don't use paper clips because paper clips tend to grab a couple other documents I like to staple, and then you're just going to categorize your documents. So um, you can begin filing the piles by categorizing and putting each different type of document in a separate pile in a category so that you can create a file folder for that using all that information like we just talked about. So for example, your car payment, your insurance payments, um, maybe it's going to be your bank statements. So you're going to want to have a file folder for each type of document and for each business or utility or bill that you pay. So that way you have a nice organization system and you're going to know where to put all of the documents that you have in your piles in order to file them in an effective filing system so make this an event you know it won't take you very long if you do it as part of your end of the month reset to have all of your bills paid that way you can go through and say oh i need to make sure i pay this on time that's going to improve your credit rating um, you can even have stamps and envelopes and a nice pen where you can write out those bills if you need to have your computer or a tablet so you can pay online if you need to but that way at the end of the month you're going to close out all of your filing have everything in a place where you know where you can find it, which is going to reduce the stress. No more looking for things. You know where the receipts are. You know where the instruction manuals are. You know where your important papers are. You know where all of your professional data is. You know where all of your 30-day um, documents are housed in that grab-and-go binder. And then you have everything neatly filed in your filing system. One last tip that I want to suggest is, you know me, uh, I like everything to be a very uplifting experience. So I like to use a little room spray, essential oil spray, or even a bottle of perfume that I bought at the store that didn't smell as good on me as it did in the store. Instead of throwing that away, I'm gonna use right. it or scenting things that I'm going to put into storage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spray a little bit into my file box. So that way when I open that box the next time, it's gonna smell amazing. It's gonna be very uplifting. It's going to be very relaxing. And that's going to enhance my experience in filing those pots. I just want to leave you with one last reminder. Remember to take time. Self-care routine. Remember that self-care is health care. So whether you're following my weekly schedule or daily health and beauty routines, or you have created your own, take time for self-care today. All right, my friends. I am the Organizer Advisor, and I am so glad you joined me today for this important video on how to create an effective filing system. Please, I look forward to seeing you in the next video, and until then, my dear lovely friends, I hope you have a wonderful day.